Welcome back to our walkthroughs for Let's Defend. Today we are going to work on the SOC 101 event ID 24 exercise dated for October 25th, 2020. This is another phishing email that has been detected. So we'll go ahead and sign ourselves. And go ahead and copy and paste into Notepad the relevant results we have, and we'll go ahead and take a look. Let's see. So the first portion is it's from a Gmail address. So let's go ahead and take the SMTP address of 173.194.68.27, and we'll run it through Talos Intelligence which reports that it is indeed owned by Google. So it's not a spoof, it just looks like somebody set up a either compromised Gmail account or um, just set up a Gmail account to send in garbage. Uh, okay, so we can ignore that COVID-19 news with an attachment. Yeah, so this has got couple of other red flags. I'm going to take a wild guess that this James does not know a Darcy Downey. Um, the fact that it's a reasonably hot topic, um, at least as it is in December of 2020, uh, and the whole thing of that the email is enticing you to open up the attachment. And so the attachment is, I'll open this up off screen, a Word doc named 2740 underscore 489611727332 underscore 412.doc. Nowhere in there does it make any sort of mention as to a headline, anything else like that. So that's another point that goes against this. Now, taking that Word doc and submitting it to virus total, uh, results are of five hours ago, but 45 out of 63 scan engines detect this as a malicious document. And some of these are pointing to say that it is going to download Emotet, which I'm going to believe. Uh, there are hybrid analysis, and any dot run submissions that have been done. We do have, in typical MOTEP fashion, Microsoft Word running out and calling PowerShell, which then kicks off a csrstub.exe and denotes a executable. AZRN underscore U9Q dot EXE. Let me see a couple of domains that are flagged underneath hybrid analysis. And IP addresses that PowerShell reached out to. Definitely looks like, yeah, so standard MOTEP format, pulling from compromised WordPress sites to get the actual full-on malicious payload. So now the big question is, do we have, there we go, apparently that AZRN underscore U9Q.exe is, of all things, an HTML document. Take the MD5 and we will submit it into virus total. And it's not found. Okay. Let's take a look at the run underneath any dot run. It is confirming macros on open and that it's an MOTET doc. And we see the same thing the AZRN underscore U9Q.exe. But this leads to a PR, PNR 
pnsp.exe, which does denote that it connects to a command and control server, that it's emotet, that it's been, or makes a modification to automatically run, and that effectively the sucker was dropped from another process, so that azrn. Let's just go ahead and take a look. Get rid of that search. And the actual emotet itself, 57 out of 72. This is 28 days ago. Let's get a current rendition as of December 7th. And we'll just wait for that to run through. other portion we can try is we can take the Gmail address and we can load up a couple of different sites that I don't believe have, that I've ever uh, covered thus far. Have I been pwned and email rep.io so we'll pop them in. This might give more of an indication as to whether or not if it's a compromised account. High rep first seen in the middle of 2018 corresponds with a Twitter account. And it's shown up in a couple of different data breaches. So, more than likely, I would say this is probably a compromised account that's used to just spit garbage into someone's environment. And it looks like the email was blocked, so that's good at least it couldn't do anything. So let's go ahead and get started with the playbook, see what uh, they want to have run through. Go ahead and start. Parse the email. When was it sent? So October 25th, 2020, 9.32 p.m. Don't have an idea as to whether or not if it's just local time, Eastern. We have the SMTP address, the 173.194.68.27. We have the sender's address, the darcy.downey at gmail.com recipient address james at let's defend io is the mail constant content suspicious only in the fact that it sits there it's centered around a currently hot topic and the body of, of the message itself attempts to prompt action in this case open up and run the malicious attachment See, are there attachment or URLs in the email? Yes. Is it malicious? Almost certainly. <laughs> okay, so now we start adding IOCs. So, more than likely, we would go through and we would probably just outright block Darcy.downy, especially if there are no indications of previous contact from this uh, to or from this address into the Let's Defend organization. Of course, now we have the extra fun time of grabbing the MD5 of the Word doc. And then we're going, oops. And we will grab the, yes, I'm not a robot. Three minutes ago, 58 out of 68. And we will grab the actual Emotet payload.
other one? The address. Wait, no, don't we have a particular one for the sending? No, just an IP. Considering the fact that unless corporate policy says not to allow gmail.com or Yahoo or AOL, any of the free emails, we're not going to essentially look at that. Um, okay, let's go back to the sandboxes then. This particular sample. What comms did we have? Alright, let's grab these. We have a couple of URLs to include. Just go ahead and refer back. Oh, wrong one. Just go ahead and grab. Now we got communications of that PR or PN RP reaching out. Looks like traffic both ways. Looks like it uploaded about a kilobyte and a half. It pulled down 132 bytes. course now the big portion here is well we sandboxed it we've done the work so we'll just add it to the case wondering as to whether or not we would be able to have a tech command and control wonder if we'd just be able to sit there and just concentrate on what we were given initially so the gmail address the SMTP address um, and the actual attachment, but we're kind of going down a uh, rabbit hole here. But I suppose if we're going to go for absolute completion, All right, I think that's enough out of everything there from the sandbox. I want to do another just quick check. I don't know as to whether or not if we really want to grab the IP addresses. The 35? Nope, starts in 24. This one here. Oh, it's a charter communications address. Microsoft, Digicert. No actual traffic. So if we were to build out the full IOC list, that's the only two that it gives us. And then we get a couple of IPs. Okay, well, let it never be said that I am not incredibly thorough. Okay. Essentially going to this link is probably overkill for a email that was blocked, but That's something else looking to see about getting started. And we go next. Check if it was delivered. Well, the action was blocked, so it was not delivered. We finished the playbook. Well, no. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm going to grab that. I will include that when I send out the tweet in regards to it. Huh, then it kicks us back. Okay, let's go back to monitoring. If I've learned anything from last time, if things go a little bit sideways, 
always go back and double check to make sure that the playbook's actually been run through. Okay, good. We do have all the information set. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, leads to the opens. All right, we want to finish that as it looks like we've got everything. So this is a true positive as the alert was thrown for a phishing email, and this is definitely phishing email. <laughs> Of course, it would help if I could spell too, but thankfully, spell checks involved in some of these browsers. Okay, so for notes, compromise Gmail account, question mark, used to send in emotit maldoc. Recommend blocking the Gmail account if no history. Previous email comms. Effectively, at this point, though, it would be basically just playing whack a mole. If there'd be no reason to accept any sort of Gmail or any of the free webmails, then we would probably move to block at yahoo.com, at outlook.com, at hotmail.com, at live.com, and so on and so forth. I guess. Yeah, of course. Okay, close alert. And we'll take a look and see about how well we scored. Hopefully fairly well. Hopefully. So this is October 25th. Phishing email. This event 24. Hmm. According to this, I gave the wrong answer. Yeah, I'm going to have to probably take that up to Let's Defend. I mean, the email was sent. It is an actual... Uh, unless they're going to actually be that... Uh, if it'd be more along lines of like a malware email, but... I mean, it's still phishing. In the interpretation... Okay, well, that's, that's between me and them to sit there and hash out, see if I can get the uh, points reversed and get this fixed. But Okay, so there we go. SOC 101 Event 24 in the books. See everyone next time.